What is up? What is up? What is on my screen? Hold up. There we go. Is that better, y'all? Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> but, all right, guys. So, as you guys see behind me, we got the Nissan D21 hard body. So, we're going to do some work on the truck. There's something I saw. Like, I was just, I'm the kind of person, like, when I get a vehicle that I like or interested in doing build on or something, I kind of go on Google and just like look at pictures and builds that people have done and like get like ideas and stuff and kind of mix them up a little bit with like my flavor, my taste and stuff. But there's one thing that popped up actually on a truck that was for sale on Marketplace and he did something to his truck and I'm like, that looks cool. I want to do that. So what he did was, I'm pretty sure it's been done, but I liked how it looked. Like this insert piece of the grill was cut out on his, on these three here. So I think I want to do that to my truck. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and cut these out here. And then we're going to scuff up the grill and everything. We're going to paint it black. And I don't care to do it on this grill because if it messes it up, it's fine. Because this grill is cracked. I have another grill for it, but uh, I'm not going to use that one because I'm waiting until we do more stuff to the truck and do all the body work and paint the truck and all that to put the new grill on it so yeah i want to get these cut out scuff this up paint it and then we have something we're going to be doing to the bumper and maybe to the hood so but we're kind of going to transform the look a little bit of the truck but we're going to start with doing the grill first so let's go ahead and get you guys up on the tripod and the grill pulled off did you guys hear my voice squeak <laughs> but Let's get this grill pulled off the truck. All right, guys, so you can see, got the grill off. Got some gloves on, because it's a little chilly out here, but um, pretty much just the corners here, or the centers, I guess, and then here on all of them. And they will come out. I'm gonna see if these snippers will be able to cut this section here out. Oh, if not, I'll get like a grinder or something. But let's see how this does. Smooth it out. Oh, yeah, cut that off, no problem. Got those parts cut out right there. I'm gonna see if I can get in here with it. If not, then I'm gonna grab a grinder or something. Let's see how this cuts this part out. one piece out of there like I said we can go over that and clean that up all right so we got that cut out but you see there's these little pieces still here and all the edges you know but I think we can get the grinder and just smooth the nose out and it'll be good. And then go from there. But I think that's gonna look good, especially when this stuff behind here is gone and it's all nice and painted black and everything. I think it'll look good. And there's something that's gonna be there in a second. Also when you know we modify down there, and that's going to be back there. I don't know if I'm going to use this particular intercooler or a smaller one. This one is pretty big. So I'm not sure if it's going to fit in there. But there will be an intercooler in there soon. So, yeah. But I got the old 
Milwaukee out. So, let's grind some things. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's see. All up in my face. <laughs> Probably stand over here doing this one. So I got that one all cleaned up some. Probably do a lot better, but it's just hard to get in here because as you see, it's kind of hitting here. But I'm not worried about that. Like I said, this is this girl's cracked here and really bad over here. So I'd rather practice on this one. The best thing would probably be grab the Dremel and clean it up. But I feel like once it's painted, you won't even notice it. And really, I just wanted the empty grill sections, and I think it looks good. So, yeah, let's go ahead and finish doing all these, and then we'll scuff this baby up, get it cleaned up and paint it, and slap her back on the truck and see how she looks, because I think she looks good so far. All right, so there it is. It's cut out. It ain't the best, but like I said, this is just, this one grill's broken, like I said. So I ain't too worried about how it comes out on the head. This one's just like a test one until we do all the stuff on the truck that I want to do. I did nick the hood a few times, <laughs> but I'm not too worried about it. I do want to change out the hood on this truck. Um, some people don't like them. Some people do like them, but I like the vented hoods more. It reminds me of like Pignos hoods for like 240s and stuff. So I'm gonna call it a pig nose. Some people call it male hood or male slots or slotted hood or vented hoods, different names for them, but I'm gonna call it a pig nose. So I want a pig nose hood for it because I like the slots in them and it looks good and it's gonna go with what I wanna do. So there's work I wanna do on this hood and bumper and the fenders and stuff just to give it a little flair and a little bit of my style. All right guys, so now that we got that all cut out, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go around it. All right, so I got two cans of semi-gloss black um, dupe of color engine enamel paint. Uh, I like this stuff. I like the semi-gloss black, and I like using it. Then I got here a propane torch, so I'm going to heat up the cans and just put a little heat in that because it's kind of cold out to help the paint dry faster and lay better. So then let's go ahead and get the torch. I got a lighter right here to light it because the igniter's not working right on this. And... Yeah, get some heat and everything, so let's do it.
All right, guys, so look at it. So I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. It's probably gonna take a little while to dry because it's like 38 degrees out. But yeah, I'm just gonna move it from here and put it somewhere. I don't know where, because I feel like the cats, they're gonna get on it no matter what. So yeah, let's put this up somewhere, let it dry for a good 30 minutes or so, 45 minutes. And then if it needs more, we'll do another coat on it. If not, we'll go ahead and get it put back on the truck. All right, guys, so got the grill painted. It's all dried. Uh, I want to go ahead and slap this baby on, see how she looks, because it's going to look so much better. But first, <clears throat> little no prep clean work. Real quick right here. Right here. Just so things look a little nice in the background, since now you can see in here. All right, well, looks better to me. All right, guys, what do you think? Looks better, huh? I know someone's gonna say something about this being chrome. Trust me, I know. I don't like it either, but the corner lights are messed up and cracked, so I'm trying to find new corner lights. So that's why I didn't do the corner lights. But if anyone has corner lights and stuff, like even these lights, the turn signals, like this one is clear and that one's amber. If anyone has a set of ambers, I don't want clears, I want ambers. I don't know if they make 50-50s for the hard bodies. I know they do for 240s. I wonder if single cam pig nose 50-50s will work. Not sure. I'll have to do some research. But we're going to be doing some modification stuff on the bumper. And I got some plans, an idea in my mind that I've been talking to Nick about. So this is going to be having to do with some cutting and grinding and welding things. So, yeah. And the hood, too. And the fenders. So, Got things in my brain that I want to do and put it on this thing. So, y'all want to see that? All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button. Duh. It's not hard to do. It's free and it helps us tremendously. Share these videos. Thumbs up if you like the video. Comment below. All those things helps a small channel grow. And then we can do more crazy things to this because you know there's an SR swap sitting in there that wants to go in this thing. Costs money though. So, but if y'all did like the progress and the the outcome of this let me know so i think it looks very very good what do you think james hell yeah you like it damn straight so if y'all want to see more just let me know in the comments because i got a lot of things i want to do to this truck so i know the lighting ain't the best guys but i think that came out amazing get inside and get this video edited up for you guys and ready to be posted and continue with what else we're going to be doing on one of the other projects out here so but with that being said guys hope you all enjoyed this video so be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're not yet subscribed please consider subscribing leave a comment below and we'll catch you on the next one peace out and god bless